Hey guys, Corral Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com with some thoughts coming out of Met Spring Training over the past week. So it's been reported that Tom Seaver will be on hand to throw out the first pitch at City Field when the Mets have their home opener against the Padres. You know, I was at the Georgetown St. John's game, as many of you know, um, and I got to see Franco, John Franco on the mound, throw out the first pitch for that game, and I thought that was a nice touch considering his ties to St. John's and the Mets, and I think that this uh, this idea by the Mets with Seaver even tops that. Uh, Seaver's probably the best pitcher in Mets history, so it's only fitting that he would throw out the first pitch I also heard that uh, Piazza will be on hand. It's been reported that Mike Piazza will also be on hand for that game. So it'll be interesting to see uh, who else the Mets have on hand for their opener at City Field. Um, I'll be in the stands at that game. So if any of you guys are out there that uh, will be a, uh, in attendance for the Mets home opener, uh, let me know. Next up is Gary Sheffield. The Detroit Tigers released Gary Sheffield this week. Sheffield is one home run away from 500 home runs, so that made it even that much more interesting why uh, the Tigers released him. Obviously, they uh, you know thought either thought that Sheffield wasn't going to give them anything this year, or he was just uh, too much of a headache um, uh, being on that team. Uh, but either way, the Tigers have let him go. Now, there's been some discussion this week amongst Mets fans. Um, you know, specifically on Twitter, and I believe it was started by uh, Andrew Vazano of uh, TheRepolitans.com and asked the question, you know, uh, Mets fans, whether you'd want uh, the Mets to sign Sheffield or not. Uh, you know, my response to that is why not? You know, I've always said, uh, you know, that the Mets lack a power hitting bat from the right hand side of the plate. You know, you, it could probably, you could probably sign him for minimum amount of money. Uh, so it'd be low risk, uh, high return type of deal with Sheffield. I know that they've got Murphy out and right, and out and left now, and you don't really want to mess with that too much now, especially since we're just starting the season. But you know, why not take a, she uh, uh, a chance on Sheffield? I really don't see much of a downside. Now, some will say that he's a, a headache and can be a cancer in the clubhouse. But you know, um, if you look at Sheffield, he works hard. You know, he he. He battles. He goes to bat for all his, uh, you know, teammates all the time. Um, so I don't think he's that much of a head case or that much of a cancer in the clubhouse. Especially, you know, if the Mets can can get him for for low money, uh, non guaranteed type of an incentive deal uh, to take a chance on him. So if the Mets did sign Gary Sheffield, I would not be uh, upset at that move. And last but not least is the Sports Illustrated Jinx. Uh, SI has picked the New York Mets to win the 2009 World Series. But it's not all that bad because the Mets aren't actually on the cover. So I don't know if this classifies as a jinx or not. I do know this, you know, um, forget about the jinxes. Forget about, you know, what people are going to write about the Mets and predictions. I do know this. If the Mets don't have consistent pitching, timely hitting, and play good defense, they're not going to win anything, regardless of who picks them or not. So, uh, you know, hopefully the Mets will do what they need to do this year. And But if they're going to go far this season, whether that's win the division or the wild card and go far in the playoffs, they're going to need consistent pitching, they're going to need some timely hitting, and then they're going to need to play good defense. So that's it for this week, guys. Uh, we're only a few days away now from the start of the regular season. I can't wait till things get started. Uh, you know, we've had a nice, nice winter with picking up uh, some good free agents with K Rod and Puts. Um, hopefully, uh, the Mets will get off to a good start this season. Um, looking forward to, to getting going here, uh, battling the Phillies and everyone else in the NL East. Uh, talk to you guys soon.